Hello, my name is Findemus, and in this video, we are going to be learning about ordered list. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. HTML has another special element for creating ordered list or numbered list. Ordered list start with an opening OL element followed by any number of LI elements. Finally, ordered lists are closed with the forward slash OL tag. For example, and you have the OL open and close and the LIs with Garfield and Sylvester would create a numbered list of Garfield and Sylvester. Create an ordered list of the top three things cats hate the most and then run the test. So for this challenge you should have an ordered list for top three things cats hate. That goes after this one here and we'll do OL ordered list. We'll go down and we'll close it with slash OL and Okay, in here we'll have the li and things that cats hate. I don't know, we'll put dogs, no offense, but maybe sometimes they don't like them. What else? Uh, hmm. How about water? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know, just putting anything. For example, and instructional purposes only. What do cats not like? I'm used to thinking about what they do like. But you could see the numbers continue and every time you just put LI it'll just add a new number. It's kind of nice. I like that. I like it when it just programmed in and does it automatically for you which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see number three uh, things cats don't like. Mm, I'll just put loud noises because I'm not really sure. Forward slash li, close it up. And here we go. We'll move that back. Let's just double check these objectives for this challenge. Let's see here. You should have an unordered list for things that cats love. Okay, we still have the unordered list up there. You should have only one UL element. Okay, have that. That's this. Well, essentially just this one and this one, but what in between. Okay, one, uh, you should have only one OL, ordered list element. We have that. Kind of space things out a little bit. Things are getting pretty long on this page here. You should have three LI elements within your UL and three within the OL. Your UL element should have a closing tag and your OL should have a closing tag. We're getting we're getting pretty used to doing this. We're kind of getting ahead of the curve here, which is nice. Your LI element should have closing tags. and should not be empty. So all of these have tags closing it and they have words listing something on the list. The LI elements in your ordered list should not be empty. Okay, so now we're gonna run the test. That was a lot of objectives for what seemed like we didn't do much but we're kind of we're on the ball already you know and all of these objectives were completed good job everybody gotta code them all little pokemon reference there thank you for watching i'm gonna take us to the outro now but yeah good job going through learning about basic html and html5 really good job Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe.
And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Findamus, and I will see you later. And I hope everyone has a great day.